Category 5 Hurricane Irma is devastating the Virgin Islands at this time. I'm Mike Naso with the latest on the tropics here on our tropical video update page on YouTube. One of the busier updates uh, that I've ever done. You can see uh, the Atlantic Ocean. We have two strengthening tropical storms as well as uh, Irma. Obviously our devastating Category 5 hurricane just wrecking havoc in the Northern Islands this morning. Uh, the eye went over Barbuda around 2 in the morning as a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane and there were some insane wind gusts. We haven't heard much from that little island. We also have uh, devastation in St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, uh, St. Eustatius was recording very strong winds and it is now on track for St. Thomas and Tortula. On the left side of the screen we have Tropical Storm Katya which is strengthening it looks like. The recon is on its way out there although that should stay south it will impact Mexico probably as a hurricane in a couple of days and we have Tropical Storm Jose out here in the Atlantic uh, to the east of Irma which is looking like it might even be a hurricane as we do this update. Now here's the latest on Hurricane Irma as of 11 a.m. Eastern and we're gonna start to get hourly updates as the hurricane moves just north of Puerto Rico but it was at 18.2 north 64.0 west Winds were still 185 miles per hour, gusting into the 200s, just uh, extremely devastating. It's moving west-northwest at 16, 918 millibars is the pressure, and the uh, Air Force recons flying out there, finding that it is fluctuating in intensity, but still a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane. It is expected to remain one, at least a Category 4 or 5, for the next several days as it heads on up towards the southeastern U.S. Now the track has shifted for Florida. Of course yesterday it was looking maybe like the Keys. Right now the track has southeast Florida, but again there is a lot of uncertainty past Saturday where exactly this hurricane will go. We had some model guidance this morning that shifted very much to the east, which is great news for Florida, uh, worse news for Georgia and the Carolinas. However, we also have a lot of computer models still showing uh, the left side of this cone. So anybody from Key West all the way up to Cape Hatteras needs to be on alert because this is an extremely dangerous hurricane. Now that's to say nothing of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos which are squarely in the path. For the Turks and Caicos and the southeastern Bahamas you could have storm surges of up to 20 feet. Remember category 5 hurricanes are about as bad as you can get. In fact, they are as bad as you can get, and Irma is one of those. Here's the model guidance spaghetti model plot. You can see a lot of them shifted to the east, uh, some of them even trying to take it away from the east coast. Uh, what's basically going to happen is the high pressure is going to get eroded by this shortwave trough that's over the uh, upper uh, Midwest and the Great Plains, and how fast that erodes and where the hurricane is when it turns and how sharp of a turn is all in question right now, which is why it's so dangerous if you live in South Florida to still keep an eye on this hurricane because a lot of the computer models, if they don't bring it over the coast, they bring it so close that you're going to have impacts either way. Some of the wave height forecasts are ridiculous. Just uh, insane. Now there's the uh, water vapor imagery and you can see just a devastating hurricane. It went right over Barbuda. It went right over Anguilla and uh, St. Martin and now Tortola and St. Thomas are directly in the path and uh, looks like Puerto Rico you guys are probably going to get hurricane force winds but you might just miss the core but you don't want it to get too close because it's within that core that you have category 5 winds and uh, that was devastating for St. Martin obviously. By the way this is the strongest hurricane to hit the Leeward Islands since 1979 Hurricane David before that 1928 although it looks like this was the strongest that we've ever seen in this area of the Caribbean islands so uh, they will not soon forget Irma at all. There's another look at it in the infrared you can see it's uh, still a very impressive hurricane obviously it's going to fluctuate they don't maintain 185 miles per hour forever thankfully However, you can see it is still very impressive, good outflow, good symmetry, and uh, that is why it has been so strong for so long. 
Now here's the uh, long range radar out of San Juan and you can see obviously the, the eye wall of the hurricane is still extremely powerful and well defined. St. Thomas, you guys are right in the path. There's St. Martin, you guys have already been devastated. It's over for you, but the cleanup will be uh, very long and tedious after a Category 5 hurricane. We could zoom in a little more on the uh, San Juan radar. Look at the eye wall there headed right for St. Thomas. I could tell you right now they're getting hurricane force conditions, uh, or at least they're about to. Uh, the core is still very tight, which is why when you put that low pressure of 918, 920 millibars in an eye like that, with the high pressure pushing the hurricane to the north, that pressure gradient creates just devastating Category 5 winds. Now, I want to zoom in a little bit because you can see the eye wall here. I'm going to zoom in on some of these islands. Now we have Tortula to the north. You can see we're talking uh, Cruise Bay uh, areas here in the uh, British Virgin Islands are about to get the eye of the hurricane. And I believe this is, uh, this is Culebra and Vieques. And these are just offshore Puerto Rico. Now you guys might not get in the eye wall, although if you're in Calubre, uh, you might get some of the eye wall, uh, which would be very bad news. You can see right there, just coming into Tortula and areas of the British Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, you guys are about to be in the core of this Category 5 hurricane. So if you are uh, there and you still have power and you hear this update, get to shelter now. That's very, very devastating with uh, a Category 5 hurricane roaring over the top of you. I kind of doubt that they're watching this update right now, to be honest, because those are very, very bad conditions. Now we have to touch on the rest of the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Jose. Uh, it was at 13.1 north, 44.5 west, 70 miles an hour, almost a hurricane, and my gut tells me it's probably gone over that threshold, or at least just about to. It's moving west-northwest at 17, 998 millibars. Expected to be a powerful hurricane and come close, but probably east of the islands. And uh, it might stick around at the end. We're not too sure yet. There's going to be uh, less interaction, it looks like, with Irma than we thought prior. However, some of the computer models have high pressure building in, looping it around a bit at the end. So don't you know, take your eye off Irma if you live in the islands and even the Bahamas here. Uh, not Irma, Jose. I'm sorry, we've got three storms at once. I'm trying my best here. We all are. Um, don't take your eyes off Jose down the road in the Bahamas and Bermuda because this thing could stick around and we'll have plenty of time to watch it. There's the uh, morning visible satellite imagery. And as I mentioned, you can clearly see an eye type feature and this is indicative of uh, hurricane intensity. So it looks like if hurricane, if Jose is not a hurricane yet, it will be one shortly. And we'll have yet another hurricane in the Atlantic. Then there's Katya. Katya at 11 a.m. was at 21.7 north, 95.9 west. Winds were 45, 50 miles an hour. It's a moderate range tropical storm. It's drifting east-southeast at 4, 1,004 millibars. The recon's about to fly out there. This is expected to become a hurricane and hit Mexico sometime Friday night into Saturday. So even though it's down there looping, trying to stay out of the picture from uh, the rest of the tropics, you can see it's not going to go anywhere anytime fast, which means heavy rains for Veracruz and areas of the Mexican coastline. There's the visible satellite imagery bubbling there. Not terribly well organized yet. But getting stronger. So we have a lot of systems that we're dealing with here. We have Hurricane Irma, Tropical Storm Jose, and Tropical Storm Katya. All three are going to be a hurricane over the next couple of days and uh, impact land, especially Katya and especially Irma. So we knew it was going to be an active hurricane season and we're approaching the peak and you don't get more active than the Category 5 hurricane devastating the Virgin Islands this morning. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll talk to you guys next time.